I think if I were to design an STL lesson, I would try to ensure that all the key elements of SDL is built into the interaction. So if I were to give a piece of work to the students and the student go home completely and hand it in, the question is, is that SDL? Yes, I mean the kids will do it on his, his or her own, will come back and give us, uh, or rather hand in the work. That by itself is not sufficient because I think that by itself is a teacher directing a piece of work to the students. For SDL to properly take place, there needs to be a structure put in place to say, okay, if I were to ask a question for the kids, I would need to encourage the kids to go beyond answering the question, beyond doing a bit more homework, to perhaps extend the idea a little bit further. So in any interaction in SDL, I hope that the teacher, the educator, will structure the questions, structure the work, such that it becomes a natural habit for the kid to say, OK, now I've completed this task. What am I interested in? This task may have given me ideas to develop my further interests and to try to explore beyond the task given. So I think it's more useful to suggest that when we want to engage in SDL interaction, that that kind of structure, that kind of motivation is put in place for the kids to discover, to explore and to strengthen the attributes to be a self-directed learner.